Hello church, this is Pastor John and I am standing on the front entrance of the Shepherd's Heart Food Pantry here in Waco. It's located at uh, Bosque and 34th. Uh, it is a partner with us at First Methodist uh, in distributing food to those in need in our community. I've had the incredible opportunity to serve here and to work here and to help and assist and it's a great ministry uh, to those in need in our community. This morning as I bring the devotional, I wanted to do it from the front entrance of this incredible local ministry because uh, in Romans, uh, the writer of Romans writes about uh, service uh, in the body of Christ. In chapter 12, verses three through eight, we hear these words. For by grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Here we see the writer of Romans uh, explaining to the church that we are all different, that we all, just like the body, have different parts and different members, but that all the members work together. And just as it is in the body of Christ, we all have different gifts. Although we all have different giftings, uh, we are called to use those gifts to, to the benefit of all and to the body of Christ. Some of you uh, may have the gifting of teaching and yet feel you can't teach. Uh, God may be calling you to step out and to teach. Uh, some may feel that they have the gift of encouragement. I have met many, many people who have the gift of encouragement by writing notes and phone calls and that God uses them to encourage others when they are discouraged or down. And especially during these times, uh, those are important individuals who are using their gifts to build up the body and to encourage one another. This says, if it is in serving, then serve. There are many opportunities around our community, around Waco to serve others. Even during this uh, COVID uh, pandemic, even during uh, social distancing, even during all the, the precautions that we take daily in regards uh, to COVID, there is still opportunities to feed the hungry, to clothe the naked, to visit those who are alone. Uh, there are opportunities on every corner uh, to do these things and I want to encourage you to to take time to look and to see and to listen during this time that maybe God is calling you to do something in your neighborhood maybe God is calling you to do something uh, with your neighbor uh, of course in a very social distancing and precautionary way uh, we don't want you to do anything that might put you at risk but it is during these times that people are looking for the light of Christ. They are looking for those individuals who are willing to be encouragers, to be servants, to lift others up who may be discouraged during this time. It's interesting that it goes on to say that not all of us have the same function. I don't uh, uh, have the function of um, I don't have the gift of, of, of working with uh, small children, but there are many in our congregation that do, and they use it, uh, use it faithfully and sacrificially. Uh, I have the gift of serving and wanting to help those who, are, uh, who need help and, and who are in need of help. I have the gift of wanting to teach and to help individuals understand what it means in the Bible to be a disciple 
a disciple of Christ and how we do that in our context in Waco and in McLennan County. Uh, those are my gifts. Um, I don't look at those who have other gifts and, and kind of look at them and say, well, God, why don't I have that gift? Uh, I have the gifts that God has given me and I am called to use those gifts. The same is for each of you. Each of you have been given a gift uh, to be used by God for the building up of the body and for encouraging those around you. And I want to challenge you this day as I stand here in front of uh, Shepherd's Heart Food Pantry to find that gift, to, to find that gift and to use that gift. If you have, that's a wonderful thing. That's an incredible thing. If you haven't, I would challenge you to take time Take time and prayer. Ask other people. Ask uh, the other pastors. Ask your spouse or good friends. Uh, take time to discover that gift that God has given you. To be used, to be used to encourage others and to build up the body of Christ. My friends. Uh, it is interesting that he begins this, thought, uh, this uh, section of scripture by saying, Do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment, in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. We all have our own gifts. We all have gifts that we have been given to use. My challenge is to you today is to use that gift where you are whether that be in your neighborhood, whether that be in your workplace, whether that be uh, wherever that might be, that you would use that gift for the building up of God's kingdom here in Waco, Texas. Again, if you have never been to Shepherd's Heart, I would challenge you to come over and just visit. You don't need to come and, and work or come and serve. You could come and visit and see the incredible work that is being done by this incredible ministry to those who are in need, uh, in need in our community. Uh, again, that's uh, Bosky and 34th Street, the Shepherd's Heart Pantry. I wanna end uh, today in prayer, if that's okay, uh, praying for uh, this ministry, but then also praying that God would help each of us find those gifts that he has given us for the building up of the body. Gracious and loving God, we come before you this day thankful, thankful for this day, thankful for First Methodist, thankful for the gifts that you have given to each of us to be used for the building up of the body and for the furthering of your kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. And so, Father, I pray that you would help us. I pray that you would help individuals who may be looking and trying to discover those gifts, that you would give your Holy Spirit to them, that the Holy Spirit would direct them and empower them and that they would understand the gifts that you have given them to be used. And Father, I pray that you would give them opportunities to step out in faith and trust you as they use those gifts uh, in the body of Christ and in our community. Father, we pray specifically for Shepherd's Heart Food Pantry. We pray for all the workers here. We pray that you would continue to bless them with finances and food and individuals that would come and serve. Father, we thank you that they are giving food and helping those who are in desperate need during this time and in our community. We ask that you would continue to uh, pour out your blessing upon them, that you would raise up other uh, servants and people to work, that you would raise up more uh, finances, that you would raise up even food from other places that would be given out to those in need. And most of all, Father, this day we give you thanks for your son, Jesus Christ. Your son, Jesus Christ, this day. And we pray this all in his incredible matchless name. Amen. Church, it's been a pleasure. Have a great day.